one of the things you're, when you're fighting somebody that's really good is they can step in and pin you and land a whole flurry of punches before you can get out. And it's can be overwhelming. It wrecks your nervous system. One of the ways I found to overcome that is with head motion. Now, the head won't do it all. Just moving your head here won't stop that frenzy. They don't you from getting hit, but you need to put that retort back. So what I like to do is when I'm doing that is I'll kick the leg. Like that. It's hard to talk while we're doing this. So I even get breathy. But if you notice, he's doing low line kicking, which I think we use more for street, right? Yeah. So what I want to do is get here, bang one off that knee, get here, bang one off that chin, get here, bang one off that calf. That's what you're looking to do. Three or four of those, he doesn't want to be there anymore. Yeah, you'll see the guy will change leads and then he's not at his comfort zone because he's fighting in his unorthodox lead that he's not comfortable in. So you're trying to change the fighter. This isn't choreographed or anything, so I try to wait for that rear hand to come and put that in. And if I land that, I pull that. If I push a little harder, he'd be on the ground. So I wait for that and I put that in. I'm gonna brace more. Go. So I like to sometimes I'll take it off the rear hand that way. Because this one I'll zone to this side, pick it up here, put that in, come in, give him a hook. So that can help you finish the fight. That side kick right there. There I dropped a little low instead of hitting him on the knee. Good. 